90 newtons of torque, 600 watts of peak power, 2.5 kilos, and coming in the size of a Coke can, this is the new ZF Centrix. Riders, welcome back to Eurobike, and we are still here getting you all that e-bike goss. And today, we're giving you the first look and first ride of the ZF Centrix e-bike motor, which is so small. And you might be wondering who ZF are, because I'd never heard of them. But they're absolutely massive players in the motor industry, making gearbox and clutches for Audi, BMW, and Porsche. And they've been in the industry for over 100 years, so they definitely know what they're doing. And this e-bike motor system oozes style and experience. It kind of looks a little bit like the TQ motor, but it has 90 new meters of torque and 600 watts of peak power and coming in at 2.5 kilos. 48 volts, batteries available in 504 and 756, remotes, displays, and app is available. So ZF are making a full e-bike infrastructure and system. So I think you riders would agree with me, it is looking like a special motor. And I love the size and the form factor. It kind of reminds me of an old school BMX bottom bracket. Yes, bigger, but this has 90 new meters of torque and 600 watts of peak power. So we're gonna go test it. But why is size important, especially for an e-bike motor? So you're like 2.5 kilos, is light, but a lot of the other motors are similar weight, but the size form, this is definitely a lot smaller. Now, that's important for the look of the bike, but I think more importantly for the suspension design. The engineers have so much more room to play around with the suspension, and I love that because you know I love geeking out on that kinematics. Now riders, let's get out and ride it. It's gonna be POV style, so I'm gonna be just talking about my thoughts and just try and answer all those questions that I know you have. Let's go. Okay, we're on the test track at Eurobike. There's loads of people, but we're gonna put it in boost and we're gonna slow it right down. We're gonna see what this bad boy's got. Let's go. It's pretty pokey. And that's it. We hit the limiter straight away. Granted we're on the flat, but does feel very pokey, very powerful. All right, so let's go through. We're gonna talk about appearance. So what do I think of the whole integration? Well, I think the motor being that size at 200 and uh, two kilos and a half, at that size, like it is bigger than the 2Q, but it has, ha has got like a similar form factor. I think it's possibly one of the best looking, best size full power e-bike motors on the market. Putting that out there, what do you think riders? And then the display and the remote and the like the LCD display, display I'm gonna say it doesn't look hugely modern, like the display for me looks a little bit like the old school specialized one. Um, so I think there's probably a little bit of work to do there. Let's get off the test strip and see if we can find something a little bit more quiet. So how does the motor feel? So let's slow it right down. Let's see how it picks up. Definitely pulls in very low cadence. So I'm putting zero effort in at the moment and we're probably riding at about 40 or 50. And then it ramps up really nicely, very smoothly. Yeah, it's impressive. It's definitely impressive. What about over that limiter? So let's go turn around and go over the limiter and see if there's any sort of drag or disengagement. So we're at 22, 23, 26. You do feel it a little bit. Uh, I would say probably the disengagement is not the best best, it's not bad. I think I can feel a little bit of drag there, not a lot. Um, I am gonna say that I did speak with the engineers and they did say that there is absolutely no rattle. So possibly with a little bit of drag means you don't have a rattle. I don't know, not an engineer, but definitely no rattle, possibly a little bit of drag over the limiter. Okay, now let's hear the sound of the motor. So at the moment, the motor is off. Let's put it into eco. Now active. Now sports. Now boost. Slow it down and hear boost again. Now this is boost. I'm 
I'm going to say it's not the most silent motor out there, but at the same time, it's that decibel pitch that is not annoying. If I want to compare it to something else on the market, possibly like definitely not as quiet as the Bros. I would say it's maybe Shimano EPA territory. It's not bad at all. I, I would not say it's a deal breaker. I would say that it's not silent, but it's not bad. And the overrun, so the system can go up to two meters. At the moment, it's only set up to go in sports mode, uh, 1.2 meters overrun, which I think is like a pretty nice medium. I sometimes find the two meters on the Bosch race like a little bit too much, a bit dangerous. But they are saying that will be tunable. I'm not sure if it's going to be tunable by them or tunable via the app. And check out the B-roll of the new magnet or mini uh, disc rotor, which possibly magnets could be a thing of the past. Because this mini rotor is a sensor, which is actually giving you 50 or more than 50 signals where a magnet's giving you one. So they can just get more data, obviously make the bike smoother. I'm gonna say the motor is really smooth. It doesn't seem to be like relying on cadence at that much. It like pulls in low and high cadence, which I really like. And how does it compare to all the majors? Bosch, Bros, Yamaha, DJI, Shimano. Well, I'm gonna say the form factor, the size of it is probably definitely the smallest motor on the market for a full powered electric mountain bike motor. Um, and obviously ZF is a massive powerhouse creating a huge amount of units. I, I think it's something like three, over three million units per year they're producing, something like that, don't quote me on it. Uh, so they're definitely a player. They've got a lot of money, they've got a lot of experience in the industry. I would say they're definitely a threat I would say like after Eurobike this year, 2024, probably the uh, e-bike boffins are scratching their head, you know, with, um, with DJI and ZF coming into the market. It's definitely turning it up, turning it on, you know, and, and I, think it's, I think it's what the e-bike industry needed. It was getting a little bit stale. Uh, so yeah, I reckon it's interesting to see where this goes. I think the first crack at it is really good. I'd like to see probably you know, a nicer remote, possibly smaller batteries and integrated batteries. Uh, but I think it's a really good crack. And riders, if you want to see like a long-term review or a deep dive review of this motor, put it in the comments. We get enough people asking for it. Maybe ZF will send it out to Madrid for me to test it. Anyway, legends, I hope you enjoyed this. We are heading home to Madrid today and I am so tired, I'm ready to get home. And like always, if you have not subscribed to Sam's Likes, please do share it with like-minded people. It really does mean a lot. And you stay safe out there and we are gonna see you soon.